Hello, this short video is going to explain the card game that's available through Time Out Entertainment um, suite of uh, mini games. So games that are available are like the card game, we have a cup and ball game, a penalty shootout game, a horse race, we have a randomizer. So this particular video is about the card game. So with the card game you can configure it in multiple ways. So for example I'm just going to bring up the configuration so you can actually have it so the cards will display red or black. The player must guess whether they think the next card that's about to be shown will be red or black. Or you can do higher or lower. We can then also set it so that there's a certain amount of cards. You could have 5 cards or 10 cards, 15 cards. Obviously um, for the player to be able to get 10 consecutive cards would be very difficult. You can also have it so the last player standing is a winner. So for example, let's say you had 10 players um, and you're only at card 5 being displayed and there was no more players left um, except for one, then the game would stop and that player would be guaranteed to win a prize. Or you could just simply have it that um, it's the, the people have to get 10 straight cards and anybody that's still left in the game that gets 10 straight cards um, will win a prize. But again, very difficult. You can configure it so that there's some sales and marketing um, on the cards or the background of the game. You can have music playing while the game's going. You can customise some of the text. So it's quite customisable, the game. So let's just um, get the game started. So when you launch it, um, the game will tell the players they can either go to buzzerpad.com and key in a pin number to be able to play the game or if they're a regular player and they play say the weekly trivia and they have the smart buzzer app on their phones they can just go straight into the app and key in their pin code to play the game so we hit the next button and of course what comes up it shows you all of the the, the players um, that are that are available to um, to play. I've got two at the moment, Team 100 and Team 101. We can see 10 cards. So at the moment I'm going to hit the next button um, and we're going to see uh, what the players guess. So I'm going to have one mobile phone will key in uh, A and another one a key in B which is high uh, red and black. As we see Team 100 has buzzed in red and Team 101 has gone black. So let's go next and let's see who's correct. Hey, so we can see that Team 101 has now been eliminated, leaving just one team left. So that Team 100 now needs to get still nine more consecutive um, cards to be able to win a prize. So let's hit the next button. Um, I'm going to key in black. Okay, let's see if the next card is black, and it's black. Great. I've still got to get eight more correct, so let's go again. Okay, I'm going to go a red this time, and let's see. Red. Oh, I'm on a roll. Let's uh, go again. I'm going to go red again, and let's go. Red again, still in the game. I'm going to go, ooh, I'm going to go red one more time. Let's see how we go. Oh, that's it. I'm out. Game over. Um, now, of course, if there's still other players in the game, we would continue to go until we got to the 10th card, and anyone who's still left in would win a prize. Um, so that's um, this particular game. So I'm going to stop this game now, and I'm going to bring up another configuration, which is the high-low game. So as we can see, the game started. It's asking for a PIN number. So on my mobile phones, 586... 98 and 58698 so you could actually um, set up a, a uh, to play this game say between at 6 p.m. but you part of your promotionals you might say between 5 and 6 o'clock you uh, need to buy a drink from the bar and anybody that buys a drink from the bar um, will uh, be eligible to play and they get a ticket so anyone in the venue can obviously play the game but only if you happen to win and you have a ticket will you get the prize so it's a good way to be able to promote get um, get some food and beverage um, sales and then have everybody in the venue play but only those who who actually um, win the game will get the prize because they've got a ticket so let's um let's have a look here so is the next card going to be lower um, or equal or higher. So I'm going to say the next card on one of them is going to be lower and the other one is going to go higher. So let's actually see 
it is lower. So that's why Team 100 got through and 101 left. So let's see. So because I configured this game to be um, last man standing because there's no more players left, Team 100 has actually won a prize. So this type of promotion could be used to actually guarantee someone is always going to win a jug of beer or whatever when they play. Um, opening it up to the whole venue means you know you could have, if you've got a 50 user license, you could have 50 people playing at the one time. So lots of variety and options that are available uh, when playing um, the card game. Um, but as you can see here, we do have, obviously, we've got an auction game, we've got a card game, a penalty shootout, we've got cups and balls, we've got a randomizer, we've got a horse race. So there's lots of different options you can use these mini games for various promotions within your venue. So thanks a lot for uh, listening to this video.